Hi everyone, this is Meenakshi Ramesh from tapyawaytohealing.com. Today is day 3 um, of this uh, video series for the month of December. I want to quickly recap what I said in yesterday's video. Um, I mentioned that um, you can tap before you have a conversation, before you went or share um, your feelings, <coughs> feelings with someone. And that can reduce the intensity or char and charge on the emotion. So that's something I shared yesterday. So what happens if you are in the receiving end and someone else is sharing or venting their feelings and their pain to you? What happens at that time? You can still do the same. You can tap on yourself when the other person is sharing um, their pain with you because that will help you reduce, um, you know, you getting emotional or getting triggered and be in a very calm and, you know, grounded state so that uh, you will be able to hold the space for the individual who is sharing their pain with you. Um, you know, if you're one on one, if you're with them in the same room, you can, there are tapping points here. These are the finger tapping points. There are tapping points here, 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 just, you know, the endings near the nails. So you can just like, you know, just give some deep pressure. Just, you know, you can just do this as you're listening to them. And if you're talking to them on the phone, then, you know, it's very easy. You can always go around the points and just keep tapping as you're listening to them and uh, having a conversation. So that's a quick recap and a tip for today. Uh, quick re recap of yesterday's video and, and, the, and the tip for today. Um, the other thing that I want to share, talk about today is uh, EFT's setup statement. So when we are tapping during EFT, the first thing that we do is we go to the side of the hand, which is called the karate chop point, and we start acknowledging the problem. Like we say that even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. Some practitioners say that I love and accept myself. Sometimes people say that maybe I'm okay. So there are different ways to and the setup statement. So the, there are two components to the setup statement. One is addressing, acknowledging the problem, that I have this problem and, and I accept myself. So there are two parts. The first part is giving a voice about giving your problem a voice and then, um, you know, saying that I accept myself. The first part is giving your emotion a voice that I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling upset, I'm I'm under a lot of stress. Say that and say that I accept myself. So this is the um, usual basic recipe of EFT. So before acceptance, um, I feel acknowledging is the most important part of the problem. You know, ac acknowledging. Acceptance comes later. Sometimes acceptance comes with a lot of I have to, I should, I need to, those kind of things. But acknowledging, when you're acknowledging that this is where I am at, this is where, this is the problem going on right now, um, in that moment, there is no judgment there. There is no judgment of the self or the situation, or there are no likes or dislikes when you're acknowledging the problem. Basically, no strings attached. But acceptance comes later. Although acceptance is ultimately that's the goal that we are trying to we are trying to get to the acceptance part, even before acceptance, acknowledging is very important. Although sometimes I feel they they sound very syn synonymous, acknowledging and accepting they may sound synonymous and they may feel the same, but they are not the same. Those two are not the same things. So just to give you an example, whatever whatever is going on in your life right now, if you want to tap on it. So just say that I acknowledge I have this fear. I acknowledge I have this stress. I acknowledge I'm really angry uh, at the situation. I acknowledge that things are not working out for me right now. I acknowledge that my child is going through a lot of pain right now. I acknowledge that, <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I acknowledge that I'm helpless, hopeless and powerless in this moment. So acknowledge, give your emotions a voice. Um, meet yourself where you're at and just just talk. It's kind of like having a conversation with yourself. Talk to yourself and acknowledge, 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 acknowledge. So that's the first part of EFT. Very important, but very powerful, even though it seems like, you know, you're just ranting to yourself and saying that I have this problem, I have this problem, I have this problem. But do it as many times as you want to, as long as you want to, because tapping and acknowledging the problem 
can um, move the energy, the stuck energy in the body, the stuck emotions. That is just energy. Emotion is energy in motion. And that will slowly start softening and, uh, you know, dissolving and dissipating. And it will automatically start, clear, start clearing the space for you to feel good, to breathe easily, to digest better, to get a bed, you know, good night's sleep. So it can just, you know, the results can be so profound. So go back to acknowledging your problem um, time over and over and again. And uh, you don't need, uh, you, you can just do it on your own, right? You don't need uh, to talk to anybody or, uh, you know, um, there is, it's just like a conversation with yourself, with yourself, being present with your emotions. But the important thing is you have to tap, you have to tap, you need to tap. If you're not tapping, you're not clearing and moving your energy. I hope this video was helpful. So acknowledge wherever you are at right now, acknowledge the problem, acknowledge and tap along and see what happens. So that's all for today. Um, keep watching and keep tapping. I'll see you all again tomorrow with another video. Bye for now. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for, thank you for joining me. Bye.